Brian Jackson in round number one, who looked tight, who looked like he was feeling the pressure of being the challenger. Almost a role reversal between the two, Alex, on the way they should have looked. The movement by Norris, I mean, he, he ducked one way to avoid one punch and then escaped the other way to avoid the counter. Well, a, big right, a big right to the body by Julian Jackson. And a good inside left by, by Norris at the same time. But really, Jackson's first attempt to work the body. Almost all head hunting in round number one. Aaron Snow and Richard Giacchetti in Jackson's corner told him, you just have to get off. You have to let your hands go and can try to work the body. And he did try to do it there, Dan. Terry Norris, who will at times during the course of a fight move in and out of a southpaw stance. And again, a good left counterpunch. You saw Norris duck. There was no there was no counterpunch coming back from the champion, but Norris got under it if it was. If the key is is Terry Norris told us yesterday was relaxation and concentration. He looks totally relaxed and totally focused right now, Dan. Another good right to the body that time by Julian Jackson. Overhead chopping right. And again, the incredible knockout ratio of Jackson. Whoa! And that right and that, Terry Norris is gone. He lost his concentration for one critical moment and caught a right hand from the champion. Terry Norris struggles to get up. He beat the count, but he's, he said he's all right, but Joe know, Cortez so doesn't Cortez. believe him. No, that's it. Joe Cortez stops the fight. Norris did indeed beat the count. One, and two, Julian three, hit it. Watch me. Watch me. I got it.